Hey everybody, how's it going today? Welcome to some, a new Total War Warhammer 3 campaign that y'all voted for a little a couple of weeks ago that I'm just now getting around to. I do apologize on that. But this will be coming out every Wednesday. And we're going to be playing as Guru, the Grand Cafe as Maya Ying. I played a bit of um, Cafe when the game, the game first came out. But as um, the Iron Dragon... So it's going to be a little bit different. Now, I want to say some of the trading and stuff did change for uh, Grand Cafe because they have their own trade system and everything. So it's going to be interesting. Let's jump in and see what's it has. No, actually, what do we start out with you first? We've got a Celestial Dragon Crossbowman. We have a Uno you know, Jade Warriors, a Uno you know, Jade Warrior Crossbowman, a Sky Junk, and a Peasant Long Spearman. So not a lot to start out with, but pretty decent, like, it's not bad. I wish we had a little bit of a stronger line. Anyways, let's jump in and see what happens. Show courage, show harmony, and show unity. This is the Cathayan way. We shall see if it is. Yes, we know the Mortal Empires is in beta at the moment. Okay, again, so I've not played as this particular one. So let's see what we have here. So we can jump in and start getting some more uh, Jade Warrior Crossbowmen for recruitment. That wouldn't be bad. We could also get Peasant Horsemen. Which... Sure, three would give us Lancers and then the great Longmaw Riders. Or we could jump right in and get Iron Hell Gunners, which wouldn't be bad for us either. Now, if I remember correctly, one thing with Grand Cat, they, they are a much like um, the Dwarves. And I want to say one other faction, I can't think of the name. Skaven. I don't know why I couldn't think of the name for Skaven for some reason. Skaven, they are mostly missile. Big difference, though, between I, all three, of course, is a lot heavier infantry for the dwarves. Skaven mostly have just cannon fodder as their magic missiles and warp weaponry do their thing. Then Cathay has decent infantry, but their strength, I believe, is mostly in their missiles and I want it in artillery. And I want to say their cav is pretty decent as well. If I'm wrong, please let me know if you have any tips or tricks. Don't hesitate to that and give them to me. Okay, we are making one, one thirty, thirteen sixty-five 1365 per turn. Or we could also go Archer platforms, which wouldn't be a bad idea. With us being risk right close to the north. Okay, now I also got to remember you have the yin and the yang. Want to try and keep them as even as possible. Uh, control is negative 6 right now. Income from Yin building is negative 15. So we want to try and keep it even. <laughs> we're going to do is we're going to go income. For this one, we'll go ahead and try and get some uh, Jade Warrior crossbows. We need to increase happiness. We need to strike a couple of uh, little traders in the south here. At the Snake Gates. And the Great Bastion Wall. Pretty much the Great Wall of China. The tr not trying. But that. Okay, so we could do, do Decisive Victory. Uh, now nah, let's fight it. Yeah, any chapter tricks for this would be fantastic for Grand Cafe campaign. Trading is going to be a big thing. We need to start up pretty quick. So our peasant long spearmen, Yang infantry, anti-large charge reflection, 
and ex and they're considered expendable. Of course, they are just peasants. Uh, feels like Britannia all over again. We will end up doing another uh, future Britannia campaign. That's probably one of my more favorite factions of the Warhammer. It's just something about them being um, pretty much your regular old medieval King Arthur style army with no beasts, nothing like that. To have some magic in medieval weaponry trying to fight everything else. Uh, get to pull the men off the fields. There's a giant troll coming at us. Um, all right. Actually, take a look at the units of Grand Castle. Stone and steel. And even the peasants look badass in this. Like what? <laughs> look at this. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, I love this uniformity. All right, so um, do, 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 do. we are down heel. That's not great. But we do have a general that can turn into a dragon. If need be. Alright. Crossbows. Crossbowmen. You're on skirmish. Yes, you are. Beautiful. Oh, we have two units of crossbowmen. Okay. Yeah, let's get the crossbow in, uh, in the front, firing as quickly as possible. General, what do you have to start off? So we do, yeah, Transformation of the Dragon. We have Wrath of the Storm, Magical Attacks, um, Melee Attack, plus 24, Immune Psychology. Earth Blood, Lure of Life. So it punishes hit points of combatants, as well as reduces speed. Ah. And then Sky Junk Bomb, we could do Bombardment. Pretty much like um, the Gyrocopters. Wait. Fire! Way off. <laughs> yep, nope, we'll just let the AI do its thing. Are you within? Are you within range yet? Oh, that's Cav. That's right. So we're gonna do on that lovely Cav. Is slow you the hell down. Crossbow pull back. Now. Crossbow you're on skirmish. Right away. Why are you running towards the enemy? <laughs> Run away from the enemy. You are. Oh, dear God. What in the bloody hell? Pause. It's okay. I got to remember to always just take him off a of freaking. Skirmish because, yeah, God forbid that you run away from the enemy instead of toward it. Ready to defend. The storm unleashed. Defenders, go. Stone and steel. Stone and steel. Charge. Good job. Do me a favor. Fight the enemy. Crossbows. Oh God, Sky Junk, you're just horrible. <laughs> Oh, 
Uh, let's heal up these poor crossbowmen that decided to be idiots. Keep, keep at him. Huh, we won the battle. Yeah, I just got everyone to take off freaking skirmish. Like, it made time they ran towards him. Oh. Uh. <laughs> uh, we only lost 19 men, fortunately. Cab getting 15. Good lord. Nice quick little easy victory though. Okay, so we could replenish the army, which we don't need to execute captives for unit experience or treasury. Execute the captives. They decide to rebel. They will be executed. No. Alchemist you will join. And let's go ahead and... Yep, increase our movement range. Now, first, before we go and attack there, drill training would give us Harmony Yang, recruitment rank plus two for peasant long spearmen, leadership plus four for peasant spearmen as well. This would give us more yin, as well as ammunition for archers, celestial dragon crossbow, jade warriors, and crossbowmen units, and more armor. Let's go with some drill training. The Celestial Empire ever improves. Okay, so that's right, the compass. Um. Yeah, let's go with the Bastion. Now the Ivory Road. Freaking Silk Road, right? The freaking Silk Road. Um, hmm. It's not do too horrible for us. You have 12 units. Got a pretty decent force to kind of defend yourself. It's a little bit higher. Do it. Is there anything we can recruit right off the bat? Nope. Let's go for it. So it's saying it would be a Puric victory. We'd lose the um, Peasant Spearman. Let's try and make this a little bit of a better victory. Main reason is because of the fences you can build. And this is something um, I believe I've said in other streams and videos before for Warhammer 3. I hope they bring... The uh, settlement defense or defense building and stuff from this into other titles. Because it kind of makes sense that um, the garrison and forces, even in a settlement that doesn't have walls and stuff, would build stuff to help prevent the enemy army from getting through or cause obstruction or something. To do some kind of make some kind of defense, like during a siege period of time. You know, you'd have they'd have peasants or something build something real quick, and help with that defense part, and then get them to leave. In my opinion, and I kind of hope I they do something like that in the in the next game, which they kind of did if you think about it in Rome too, with the deployables and stuff. But I don't know. I kind of like these these ones a little bit better. And the way they did it. Um, so we have a path through here right in front. 
Okay, so it's going to be generally the exact same way all the way around, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, do we want to really break up our forces? I don't think so. We had a bit of a bigger army, maybe, but not with what we have. Take off a skirmish. Yeah, just just take that out, please. Oh, we're already burning the settlement. Burn. Burn, you fools. You have Searing Doom. Throw down some Searing Doom. Oh, nope, nope, it, it doesn't fall. Um, can, can you do me a favor and hit that, please? Thank you. Oh, go! Move forward, move forward, move forward. Ooh! Ho, 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 ho. Damn! Okay, um... Yeah, heal that entire unit. Thank you. That's just yeah. Let's let's move forces in. Ah, you bastard! Beautiful. Hey, can you kindly heal your unit? You do me a favor. Right there. Beautiful. Oh God, don't you do that. To that fight. Let's go. You right there again. Oh, beautiful. Could turn you into a dragon. Become the dragon. I'm sorry, this is this is awesome. Kill the Archer Scum. Do me a favor now. Open fire on that one. Yep, you had a bad day. Had a bad day. Drop it again. Any time now. Beautiful. Dragon crossbows. Dragon crossbows, move forward.
our lovely yeah don't don't stop attacking Open fire on the archers. As the dra as our lovely dragoness keeps kicking butt. I know they shouldn't you shouldn't be fighting them. Let's get you out of there. Even though it seems phenomenal. Um in favor, yeah, do that. You. Which one has the most to do? You are supposed to be getting out of there. Get get out of there. Charge! We, we should pretty much have this, huh? And you're broken. What else do they have besides what's right here? I don't think anything. Yeah, let, let's pull you out. No. Hey, victory! There we go. Yeah, decisive victory instead of Pyrrhic. But where did that magic come from? They didn't have a lord. They didn't have a sorcerer. Unless did I misclick? I don't think I did. They must have, they must add something um one of those uh, one time spell things you can have on the right hand side sometimes. That's separate from your regular spells if you have a sorcerer or a lord that can do a spell. Maybe. Hmm. Or I did miss quick and didn't realize. One and two. Um occupy the settlement. This is ours. Beautiful. Province secured. Gunpowder Road. Okay. Um, let us draw. Income would be generated. We should recruit spearmen and archers. What's the, oh, okay. Costs are reduced or we could recruit more. Um, go with that one, I think. And Sea Dragon income from trade tariffs, recruitment cost, as well as local recruitment capacity, Lord local recruitment capacity. Uh, campaign movement range wouldn't be bad, and corruption, research rate or control. Let's do control, especially plague, for that plague, because we aren't that far from uh, <laughs> anything from Nurgle. Nurgle somewhere down in here. I think I think he stay still start somewhere near um, the other dragon. It's somewhere. I point as him. It, it's somewhere right around here. I could be wrong on that though. That may have changed. Storm Dragon. Warden of the Great Go Earthward and increase that or hard to hit. Mm. 
Yeah, let's go with wood. I was born to wield it. I was born. The defense effort has need. All right, so we have this amount of missiles. Let's grab. Let's grab a couple more uh, spearman units. Celestial intervention. What is this for? Um, awesome power of heavens themselves marshaled arranged the Cathay's grand armies. Bombardment. I guess that's for part of the sky junk? Or that might be something special just for siege battles. Okay. Now let's look if we can get some trade going with anyone. Cathay et Faith in the Emperor should never be in question. Celestial Let's see. Ancestors. Non aggression pack? As a dragon blade, in trade? I speak for all Cathay. Yeah. I will gladly take 118. Long live. Lord and that is it. Oh, what am I doing an ogre campaign at some point? That'd be interesting. I think that's what we can do for now, so let's in turn. All right. So, question is do we hit. I think we hit Wing Chang next. Where's Paul? Paul me. Tell me. It's going to be over here somewhere, I think. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Faction encountered. Sons of the Mountain. I stand apart. Yeah. Bring you up. You are very unhappy. Um, let's grab a cup. Let's grab a unit of regular archers. Let's grab a couple units of regular archers. Yeah, let's go ahead and get you. What's the biggest issue in unha unhappiness? Harmony. So harmony is a big issue. Okay. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, so hold up. I need to... That's why I needed this. I'm an idiot. Okay. We'll fix that. We'll fix that now. But I think we'll go ahead and end the turn again. Is there nothing else we can do? And the trade is still moving. So far, so good. Let's go. Hot as dragon's breath. Couple of trade caravans. Construction complete. Okay, so let us get the right building. Let's get you. Your building there. And let us attack Wing Chang. This is saying a close victory, and I think it's mostly simply because of um, it being a siege battle. We should be able to win this pretty easily. We have a better force, better units. It's just the fact they do have the siege towers, and they have... Um, yeah, they just have siege equipment. They have the towers, they can build the walls... It all depends on the kind of defense they make.
All right. We could do as we did last time to strike one spot. But let us break it up just a little bit. Beautiful. And yeah, let's bring you over here with them. Beautiful. Bring as much harmony as we can. Take out the tower. It is our sworn duty to defend Cathay on any front from which it is threatened. Yes, yes it is. move you can just drop this right here let's go ahead and just yeah, start firing on that Yeah, they have something. Oh, beautiful. Okay, good. They, yeah, they have something for defense-wise. Move. So then the warriors move as we crossbowmen try and get this broken down quickly. The storm gathers. Archers this way. Get you off a skirmish. You wearing the bat? Missile troops. Let's go. Do as I ask, please. Oh, hello. Um, I need one spear unit over here. Oh, God. Archers, I'm sorry. You, can you do me a favor and do as I ask? Defend the archers. Is one broke yet? Nope, not yet. You kind of sucked. Junkrat kind of sucks. <laughs> Just saying, it, it kind of blows. You do me a favor, fire right in the middle of that. You, right behind. Point blank shots in the archers, thank you. Beautiful, there we go. And you're gone. Take it. Take it as ours. Take 
as a good portion of their army is for some reason focusing on the weakest bit of my force. Yeah, just more and more of their armies heading this way instead of actually towards the army, part of the army that actually can do some damage. Well, that was a waste. Hey, dragon. Let's go. Bring the dragon in this. Charge. Bring you guys this way. Yeah, we lost a lot more troops by breaking up like this, but... Point blank shooting, though. <laughs> Here comes a dragon. And you're broken. Let's do this here real quick. You. Or to generate some of those people. Actually, no. Didn't lose more minimum than we probably would have. It did was a costly victory rather than a side stuff, so. We did better. Was not expecting to pretty much send everything except for their archers towards our weaker tier units. They, they literally sent everything that way besides their archer units. Kind of ridiculous. But I shouldn't be too surprised by that. I really shouldn't. Tazaz? Make a watchtower of it. The storm dragon. And let's have Yin. Armor negative fifteen, speed negative ten. Life bloom actually wouldn't be a bad idea. Or missile mirror. Ooh. Uh, let's go life bloom. And then we might start going down to hard to hit. My celestial father would approve. Change metallurgy. Base weapon damage plus thirty. Base missile damage plus twenty five. Searing Doom. Uh, Searing Doom's actually doing really well for us, so let's go with that. The Storm Dragon. And what do you have here? Okay, so you can actually get Jade Warriors, but you're in a completely different province. The Majestic Defender. Mm -hmm. So. No, maybe one, someone can tell me this. Does the Jade Warrior Crossbowmen have good melee as well? Let's look. Melee attack 16. No. Understood. Never mind. It's just never mind. They have, better, they have good melee defense. Halberds, of course, are going to be our anti large. Okay. Ah, uh, there's Pomey. This is going to be a settlement to have to really, really fight for. I would hope. The Emperor's chosen daughter. Mm -hmm. Let's get one more Jade Warrior. 
I think that's it for now. Uh, two more challenges for your population surplus. Which then we could actually work on growing the village. The minor settlement. And we actually will put um, defenses for here. Set in turn. And I don't think we could get any kind of diplomacy going, can we? Actually, we could. Plain ancient, now. City commander. Hello. Waste no time on pretty well. And let's do some trade. Speak plainly. And you'll give me money, okay. This honors. I don't think we want to do much with um with Skaven. Mm. I really want mm. Yeah. No. No, it's Skaven. There will be backstabbing freaking rat, man. That's what ended up happening. Then the turn. Okay, caravan encountered, warriors return. Um, the caravan was being tracked, followed after moving into a defensive stance, drawing weapons to join us emerged and turned out to be friends. A group of mercenaries who have fought alongside and spilled blood with you asked. Uh, more like friends than mere colleagues, in fact. So we could add Jade Warriors, Halberds, times two. Or more crossbowmen. We have a unit of peasant archers, two units of peasant archers, gunners, spearmen, warriors. Um, Let's go with the Sword Brothers and get more Halberds. I think we need a little bit more of a front line. We had to. Next one will go missile if we get a net and chance for something else. Okay. Let's so show you we can hopefully start bringing this up and reduce the unhappiness. It is already nice. Two percent plus five. Nice. We'll get ready to strike against a terracotta graveyard. I don't think we're going to add any more units right now. This is more than enough to take this other settlement, I believe. You know, I'll have to probably do something to kind of see what Kame has. Well, they don't have much. It's unknown what they have, but they don't have much at all. They do have marble, though. Ooh. Yeah. Shadow. All we can do is really end the turn again and see what occurs. Encounter ambushers. Okay. Um. So we have ogre bulls, loose packs, nobblers, another. So we have. Okay. I think we can win this. We'll fight the ambushers. Yeah, they're saying, it's saying it's a decisive victory. Um, yeah, we're going to fight it. We could auto-resolve that, but I just don't trust auto-resolve. I don't. Our spears and halberds in the front lines and have our uh, jade warriors in the back. If they had a few more ogre rolls, then I'd be a little bit more worried. Gobblers we should be able to take out pretty easily. These guys we got to watch from actually trying to get behind us. And too bad we can't have some kind of high ground for these guys. Let's just let's take a look at these guys real quick. Yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. Wind and fire. Mind that one. And it was Pull you back just a little bit. The celestial faithful. Archers can regular archer can stay in the back. 
You two, on the other hand, have. We hold the guardians of order, the defenders of harmony. We hold this day. Let's look at this for a moment. Oh, I love I love the look of Grand Cathay. Like the uniformity is just I love it. What is y'all's range? Not, not great range. The Emperor expects glory. Open fire. Open fire. Now, pull back. <laughs> Pull back, gunners! Pull back! Oh, that was my fault. You. Go help him. The side is won already. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Cav. You kind of got fucked up. <laughs> I didn't mean that to happen. Oh, God. Cab is gone. Can you do me a favor and just pull back? This side is one. Um, everyone just kind of uh, focus down over here. W really? Oh, it's because of those damn bastards attacking from the back of the line. I didn't mean for that. Hey, you guys don't um, help out over here. You pull back, General. Yeah, I made mistakes here. <laughs> yep, kill the enemy general. Beautiful. Yeah, that could have gone a little bit better. Should have sort of resolved. I don't think I would have literally lost my freaking cab or something. That was, yeah, that was just that was a mistake on my end of not micromanaging correctly. Blot King Chua. You are ugly, sir. Um, what's your point of army? Technology research, beautiful. The Lord Let's see here. Um. Now we're gonna make you a beast in fighting. Jade stance wouldn't be about a harmony balance. Yes. We must remain. 
Great Bastion threat. I'm gonna strike the Teriyaki Graveyard, which will probably auto resolve this one. Yeah, we're just gonna auto resolve this fight. Ooh! Yeah, this is why I don't. It has the honor of joining Nathan. We're just gonna hold there. Yeah, that. Mm. That did not go very well right here. Hey, what? The that could have gone a lot better. Metal Shifting, so base weapon damage plus 12. Uh, armor piercing weapon damage plus 12. Plague of Rust, negative 30 armor. Mm -hmm. Rope, and then... Gums Golden Hounds. Medium random moving area effects. Strong versus Mephians. Weak versus, weak versus incompetent. Let us go with Plague of Rust. They do actually have a decent size army there. It's mostly peasant peasant units, so. Ready to defend. And yeah, let's go ahead and get that built up. And I think on that note, we're gonna end the first episode here. We've pretty much secured this area this area almost. We just gotta take a Hame. And then we should we have secured right against the wall. And then the question is, what do we do next? Do we go forth into the north? Oh, well, actually, we can. Can we go in the north? Yeah. Do we go forth beyond the wall, or do we look south about taking other provinces of? Fellow, fellow Cathayans that are no longer part of the Empire. Don't get to help choose. Until next time, I'll see all the people on the next stream or video. Bye for now.